Sasquatch and the Sickabillies, uh, great, great band. Again, uh, playing tomorrow night. Headhunters. I want to see everybody out there. Tonight, I want to see everybody at the uh, AMC Theater, Barton Springs. AMC Barton Creek Theater to go see from America, Freedom to Fascism. Great movie. There's going to be a ton of people out there. Alex Jones will be speaking at the movie. I'm going to see everybody out there, but uh, let's go have some fun. Tomorrow night, Headhunters here in Austin, Texas. Let's, let's storm this joint. Let's bring everybody down. Bring your videos. Bring your flyers. Wear your T-shirts. I want to see the full force, the full Jack Blood Army, let's call them now, named for the first time, at Headhunters tomorrow night on Red River Boulevard Street or Avenue here in Austin, Texas, just off of 6th Street, downtown Austin, Texas. You will see a show that will blow you away. Sasquatch. Lead singer and lead axe man for Sasquatch and the Sickabillies joins us now from somewhere on the road here in Texas. Sasquatch, good to have you, buddy. How you doing, brother? Very good. How many Can shows? You... How many shows have you played on this tour so far? Oh uh, man, I don't even know. Twenty something, maybe thirty. We got forty, uh, forty-three in seven weeks altogether. Forty-three in seven weeks. That's yeah, that's I'm, real I hope commitment. I don't lose you right now. I'm driving through uh, nowhere land in Texas from El Paso to San Antonio right now. Where are you guys playing tonight, on Friday night? At uh, Jiggers in San Antonio. Jiggers in San Antonio. you got a lot of listeners down in San Antonio. Jiggers in San Antonio. And then tomorrow night you're going to be up at Headhunters. Uh, Headhunters on uh, Red River off of 6th Street, yeah. What's wrong with you, boy? Why do you keep doing these uh, political rants during your rockabilly music? Why don't you just play good old <laughs> corporate rock and roll? Because uh, th that's the problem with this country is that that's all everybody's listening to is what's being force-fed into them. Everyone's too afraid to go out and look for something themselves. They just wait for it to come sit in their lap. Well, why aren't you afraid? What's your problem? Haven't you taken your somas? There's something in my gut that school never taught me that just keeps me uh, alert that things aren't right and I can't keep my mouth shut because... One, I'm an only child, I'm a Leo, and I'm part Italian, so put, put all those together. <laughs> and uh, you understand what rock and roll really is, and rock and roll is a reason to be rebellious. Not rebellious with locked into the corporations, but full-on rebellious. And the best thing you can do now is to challenge authority, to challenge your government. What has been the reaction on the road here just recently to some of the rants that you have, your anti-authority, your anti-New World Order rants during your song? Have people been jumping on board with you? Uh, a lot. It's, you know what? what's surprising is how many people are not happy with gas prices and the way the system, the war... Uh, their family and friends going overseas fighting for no reason whatsoever except greed um, from the, the shadow government, obviously, not who we see on CNN and Fox News. But uh, basically there's more people that are on our side than will admit out loud until somebody strikes a chord within them. And I hope to be like 1% one of, one of the people that are doing it compared to the 0% sitting on their asses painting their way picket fences every spring. Yeah. Well, you're doing that now, so give me a percentage. What is it? I'm going to take a guess here. One percent of the people, maybe one guy here and there, one girl here and there, yeah, don't appreciate I mean, I, I, your, your anti-government rants? I've either, I either gotten snarls or they get up and walk or they cheer. I mean, it's really not been that negative, and I expect, I, I expect it to be negative, and it's not. I haven't gotten any fights. And that's surprising. Well, I, you, you, I, have a ways I, I, you have a ways left to go on the tour, so <laughs> yeah, I get let's hold mouthy. out hope. Yeah, I get pretty mouthy, and I'm surprised I haven't gotten a black eye yet. Hey, man, Park, uh, you got reception now, and we're getting you through, even though it's a little loud. I want right. to come. I want to bring you back for one more segment, Sasquatch, okay. so stay with us here. We'll play some more of your music. Stay tuned. Right. Deadline Live, GCN Radio Network. How many people had I already killed? There were those six that I knew about for sure. Close enough to blow their last breath in my face.
music the way it should be made by Sasquatch and the Sickabillies. Great live show. Everybody go down to Headhunters here in Austin, Texas tomorrow and and go to sickabilly.com. Real all one word, sickabilly. I know some of you're going to have trouble even typing that into a search engine. sickabilly.com. It's good Christian music. And uh you're going to love these guys. They're touring around the United States right now. And I want you to go to sickabilly.com and support these guys because they're spreading the message. Buy a CD. Okay, buy a T-shirt. All right? Support these guys. You're going to love the music. Tell them I sent you. Get out there. Support Sasquatch and the Sickabillies. Let's make them the biggest underground band in America with the biggest message in America, the biggest message in the world. Just doing a great job really getting the word out. I'm just so proud of you guys. Sasquatch, Johnny Custom, and Pete Yorko, a three-piece band, just ripping it up uh, on their long, tall creepers all around the United States. <laughs> Sasquatch, man, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry it's taken so long to get on the air with you, man. I'm, every time you want to talk, I'm driving from El Paso. Nah, you've been ducking me. <laughs> no, I haven't, man. <laughs> Because you know I'm going to ask you. Know I'm gonna ask you, you know I'm going to ask you this question in Newport, Rhode Island, uh, about you know six months ago. You can set the timeline for me. You did a show in Newport, Rhode Island, which is where all the the Vanderbids live and where all the Rockefellers live. Yeah. And you were reported to the Secret Service for one of your in between song rants, and they picked you up and interrogated you. Tell us what happened. Well, actually, I um. I, th- I thought the show went well. I got a little drunk at the end, but uh, the show went well. I got home, and my friends started calling me off the hook saying, uh, Dave, uh, Secret Service is looking for you. And I thought it was a joke. And uh, finally I said, screw it, I'll call. I'll, I'll call. So I called. And I said, this is uh, a singer from a band that played in Newport, and you might be looking for me. And they said my name in three seconds flat, said my email, said my, uh, my website, knew the band name. We need to talk to you right now. I said, I'll come in. They said they were busy. What's my address? I said, I don't have one because I don't. And uh, I went in uh, the next morning, and uh, three locked doors inside their building sat down and got interviewed after my rights were read to me for three and a half hours, fingerprinted. Then they uh, maybe signed some papers. I signed them. guy was on my side. I didn't care, you know, about any lawyer because I'm a fool. But And then uh, they searched the van. I thought it was all cool. I was in the clear. Then they went to my mom's house, which had foot surgery, walked into the house with badges flashing, questioning her about me. And uh, Local then, boy phone, makes good. Yeah, since then, my phone has been really weird. My computer acts up a lot. A lot of viruses come in and get blocked. And uh, I know I, they haven't bothered me since, and I'm not saying anything bad anymore. I was a little drunk, you know. I said some harsh stuff, and... uh. I've been behaving, but I'm also spreading the word at the same time. Basically, people have stopped being sheeps. And uh, I've noticed, even on this tour, compared to the last tour, people are numb. Like, their faces are, they're wearing their souls on their faces, and they're so scared, and they just want to be free, and they don't know how to be free. And a lot of them are just standing there, staring at their shoes. And half is because they want to look cool in front of their friends, and the other half is because they don't know what to do. Because they don't know what to do. And they're just lost and it's, it's a mixture of gas prices Rupert Murdoch the Bush family Fox News everyone's scared well no I mean look at this war in the Middle East right now I just read a story before you came on the air that instead of withdrawing our troops from Iraq we're actually sending 5,000 more and anybody that thinks they're coming home uh, you know because their hitch is done are going to be staying yeah. there and no one's questioning other than in harsh tones and little bars uh, why National Guard are over there and not actual military? Isn't National Guard over here? Yeah, they didn't sign up for this, and this is often what I've said, Sasquatch, is you know, if we really are serious, if we're honest about pulling back and getting out of Iraq, the first thing we'll do is pull those National Guard or, or backline defenders who are supposed to be here defending our country exactly. out of Iraq immediately. If we're honest about this and we're serious about this, then that's what we do. And there's a, there's a platform for somebody to jump on and really push. I'm not going to have time to do it, but you get right. out there and do it. So, so as far as uh, that interrogation from the Secret Service, I mean, they, yeah. they pressured you into signing some papers. They interrogated you for several hours. They 
They've been monitoring you ever since. Uh, yeah. have, have you been out? Uh, have you had a chance to fly on an airplane? I mean, you now. I assume you're on the terrorist watch list at this point. Uh, I'm sure I am because I have a guitar and a loud mouth, um, basically <laughs> as my only weapons. Um, and to them, I think that's threatening because who else is? There's, there's a handful of us doing this. You know, you definitely, for one, you're definitely one of my heroes because you won't shut up. And um, I don't know. I'm trying to get other people to say things too, and they're slowly getting under, from under their rocks, but they're still jumping back in. Like we, hey, we woke people up. The first guy to have a haircut like you was James <laughs> Dean, okay? And yeah. he, he may have created a giant paradigm shift where kids knew they weren't going to be slaves to their parents and that the cycle was slightly broken. And then, of course, we had the 60s after that. So I, I'm labeling you now. You can, uh, if you want to go ahead and name your next record this, Rebel with a Cause. You are a rebel with a cause. You know what being a rebel really means. I'm trying. I'm learning as I go. I'll never say I know. I don't know, but I'm learning as I go. I got to tell you something, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make this uh, flat out admission to the rest of my audience. About a year ago, I saw you guys down here, and you know we grew up together in Rhode Island. You're a Rhode yeah. Island band initially, yeah. though. We're trying to get you to move down here to Austin, I know. and uh, you know, and I was a little bit lost with the radio show, and I think the people who have listened. Uh, before Sasquatch and after I went to that Sasquatch show that you guys played at Headhunters uh, about a year ago, you'll notice yeah. a big difference in this radio show. Sasquatch, I'm going to tell you this in front of the entire world. You are a major inspiration to me, and we've decided you know, that we're going to calibrate this show to people that are like-minded, that are like us in our generation. And, you know, uh, affiliates be damned. It's probably not the best way to do a professional news talk syndicated radio no, show, but we've managed to to grow and grow and grow, sticking to what we believe in. And you're a huge inspiration to me, Sasquatch. Thank you, Joe. Well, you are as well, and you have actually made my mouth uh, get a little louder ever since I found you online. And uh, obviously through Midnight Creeps and Sleazies, all, your, all our mutual friends turning me on to uh, your message. And you have definitely been one of my biggest inspirations. You and Bill Hicks, I would say. <laughs> well, I'm in pretty, uh, I'm in rarefied mind. air now, man. Uh, this is going to go to my head any second. Talk about what's in store for the people tonight in San Antonio. Tell us again where you're playing in San Antonio. What's in store for the people at Headhunters here in Austin, Texas tomorrow and around the country? Well, uh, basically, I'm, I'm, Headhunters is uh, it's kind of ironic, but I'm going to take some heads off. And we are the And Johnny and Custom is going to ride around the ba the stage on a stand up bass. Yes, he is. And uh, Pete um, is, our, is our new drummer. He came from uh, the Lords of the Highway from uh, Cleveland, Ohio. And uh, he is an equivalent to me and, and to Johnny Custom. And he's not going to disappoint. What, but, are we gonna, uh, what are we going to do here? We're coming up to an election. You know, we're, we're going to have a national election in two years. We've got two more years of Bush. Give my listeners some advice, Sasquatch. What do you, you, really what want, do you want them to do? Yeah, man, let it, let it go with both barrels. What, are they, what do you want them to do? Sell their houses, buy a camper, and get on the highway and look at this land, because I can't believe what is out here. And with the gas prices, that's enough to scare a regular middle-class family from ever leaving. Like, my parents have never left their hometown. Ever. Because they have the same excuse. We can't afford it. We yeah. have to be at work. And, uh, no, we want our comfort and our safety yeah, and exactly. everything. And we want, a, we want a predictable good. life. We want the government to protect us. But they're not protecting us. They're using us as lab rats. And everyone doesn't know that yet. Well, you and need to get out on the road and walk like United Souls of Awareness. Yeah. You guys can carry your amps on your back and you want to have to exactly. deal with the gas prices. Headhunters uh, tomorrow night, Saturday, here in Austin, Texas. And where are you playing tonight in San Antonio? At Jiggers on uh, 1639 Babcock Road. Have one for me and really blow that audience away. Sickabilly.com, that's the easiest way to go. Uh, Sasquatch is linked on my top 24 at myspace.com, Jack Blood. Sasquatch, man, I look forward to putting on my creepers, strapping it all <laughs> on, and going to dance on the heads of the New World Order tomorrow night at Headhunters. <laughs> all right, brother. Right on, man. Safety to you. We'll see you tomorrow night. Thank you so much. You got it. Folks, check these guys out. Sickabilly.com. Support them. They're really getting the word out. They are hardcore info warriors playing traditional American rock and roll music. I'm proud to have them on the show. I'm proud to call them my friends. I'll see everybody tonight at the AMC Theater uh, going to see America from freedom to fascism. And let's try to, let's try to turn that around, okay? 
from fascism to freedom. We're going to do it one person at a time, one theater at a time, one club at a time. Have a great weekend. we got a lot going on here in Austin this weekend. You make that happen in your town. Until then, I'm Jack Flood saying be bold and mighty forces will come to your aid.